that well let me ask you a question first can anybody in this room name the largest alcohol company on the planet and has a verse do you know why because it was the first, first. after prohibition. They were there prior to prohibition. Prior. They were actually they were actually founded prior to the ending of the prohibition of alcohol. Which right say? now we are yeah. we are we are positioned in the ending of the prohibition of the cannabis plant. And it's not going to be a straight path. It's not a straight road, okay? It's a windy road. There's going to be some states that probably even change their laws to, to not allow uh, THC into their states. And there's a lot of different things happening because you got to realize who the enemy here is. It's big pharma. Mm -hmm. And they got very deep pockets. Yeah. 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 But yeah. The, I will tell you this, the medical marijuana community is very resilient. Mm -hmm. And with social media, seeing all the testimonials and seeing everything right now, the people, I think, will speak at the end of the day. So is it something that's uh, going to be perfect all the time? It's not. I'm telling you right now. They're, they're, they're working actively right now. to not. They don't want this around. They don't want it here. Because they can't monetize it, the government can't monetize it, right? Not yet, at least. So just understand that how you handle the situations that come about will greatly determine the success of your organization. If you poo poo your organization with negativity, because if you had a bad day or a bad experience with somebody said something negative about something and you go talk down line to this one or that one, that stuff goes down as a cancer. If you ever got negativity, and you're feeling like you know you, you got to get something off your chest. Call up. Call up. I read something today. Never go down about that. with that right. ever. So the reason I why I tell you guys all this Facebook. is because I really believe that our company is leading the way in the ending of the prohibition of the cannabis plant. We're the first publicly traded that. cannabis company. We're the first direct yeah. selling company in the industry. We're the first to do a lot of things, and we're doing it the right way, the legal <clears> way. We're doing it by the letter of the law. Which is the only way to do this. You can't, you can't, you can't be playing in the gray area in this industry. So that's one thing that I do know about this company that I really appreciate is that I feel very comfortable knowing that they're going to make the right decisions um, for us. But if you hang in there and weather the storm, because I've, I've even gone through the storm. You know, I've had, I've had some people who have left my team to go to another company, and you know, just a lot of stuff happen. And it took about a third of my income away for a few months. But, you know, you got to just kind of roll with it. Just expect that when you're doing God's work, the enemy's going to attack you. Mm -hmm. Right? Absolutely. We were talking about this today. Yes. The closer you get, the, the harder he's going to come after you. So, um, that's so true. That's, I just want to tell you guys that uh, I think that this market right here is, if we've done what we've done in this market already right here, um, imagine that was just what in one year. It's not even been a full year. Has it been a full year? Yet? About it for a month it's so new here. Oh, it's and so new. And it's mm -hmm. just this tiny part at the very bottom. I mean, yeah. does anybody yeah. north of how many just, do we have? Yeah. Like less than eight thousand. Uh, eighteen thousand as a company. Oh, eighteen thousand. Yeah, okay. as a company, but that's including Europe. That's including. Oh, the, oh. The, the, yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, including yeah. Europe. That's when including, it, that's including yeah, if you get in a multi-level, anything less than oh. and five thousand is good. I mean, this is like. That's yeah. including the, the one hundred. No, no, no. If you get they in less than a hundred, less than a hundred thousand is a once in a we'll lifetime. We'll be at a hundred thousand by the end of this well, year. We're not at hundred thousand. That we're at only the end no, of this we're year, not even close. If things continue to grow at the rate they're growing right now with the math we've done. We'll probably hit a hundred thousand. We were at five thousand when I came in. A year. And I had no idea I was going to do it as business. Well, just, just the, uh, you know, the networkers, the network, the big time network marketers, they're just starting to notice our company, and they're just starting to come. And they're just starting to join our teams. And a lot of these people are going to fall underneath. Um, so I want to stop talking for a second. Anybody else here have any questions? She had great questions. Did I answer all your questions? Okay, awesome. Anybody here have any other questions? Victoria? Josh, Josh. Mine's just getting off. I've got, I've got neurofibroma. I've got tumors all throughout my body. I've had some removed. It cut the nerves, and I've on I've been on pain pills, fentanyl patches for ten years now. Mm. Wow. What milligram? One hundred milligram. One hundred milligrams every three days. And yeah, there's seventy-two hour time release, right? Yeah. And thirty mil thirty milligram oxycodones three times a day. 
was taking them four times a day, but the doctor said it was, he said he's got to cut, cut people back. Let me make a suggestion. I was on the phone yesterday with Dr. Stuart Titus and Dr. Gary Jones, the cardiac heart surgeon that we just brought on. And uh, one of the questions that Dr. Jones asked him is, how do you know what serving size to give people? So the first thing he said was, for a healthy person, that person should be taking a 50 milligram dose. Not dose. We can't say Serving. Dose. Serving. Serving size. I just grew up from time to time. Well, I said dose earlier. I can't even know I can say dose. If, Not if you're looking for a therapeutic <laughs> serving size is what he calls it. Therapeutic. You need to be between 100 and 150 milligrams a day. That's what I do. And I would say that for you, especially yeah. with my experience. Yeah. I have, my, 100 is like, mm, I only get 100. Do you do one, one in the morning or do you do? I take some products, products in the morning and I take some at night. Like I take the PM at night. I take sure? the AM in I'll the go, morning. I, but some, I, take, I make some limits. I take the paste in the morning. And if I need to, I take another That's 100 milligrams of paste at night. Sure. Depends on my day. You know, how much I've been running and going. So what would you say for him?